Green flag waves on the feature. Into turn one, Lance DeWeese with the lead. Sheldon Hodenshield there in second. Carson Macedo in the third spot as they cross under the bridge. Brent Marks looking to the inside of David Gravel. That is a battle for the fifth position. Give it to Marks as they cross the start finish line. Carson Macedo, a peek to the inside of Sheldon Hodenshield. Couldn't make a move for second there. Three laps complete in the feature. Looking to the inside in turns one and two. Brent Marks coming after Anthony Macri. Couldn't make the move for fourth. He'll follow Macri down the back straightaway. Take a peek to the inside and slide up the banking Macri over the cushion. Sideways has to get out of the throttle. Gathers it back in. Move Brent Marks now up into the fourth spot in car number 19. No change among the top five. Rain falling a little harder now. Lance DeWeese closing in on the back of the field. Caution flag will wave. Back to green. Sheldon Hodenshield tucks down low in one and two. Lance DeWeese has the momentum on the high side of the speedway, maintains the race lead. Brent Marks and Anthony Macri continue their duel for the fourth spot into turn three. And now Marks a peek to the inside, trying to steal third from Carson Macedo, who gets closer to the 17 of Sheldon Hodenshield. DeWeese again pulling away from the rest of the field. Marks to the inside. Can't quite get by Carson Macedo for third, but he is right there. Again, looks to the inside in turn number one. Brent Marks slides up in front of Carson Macedo to take third. Macedo with another run on him down the back straightaway. Macedo returns the slide jumper. No, cannot do it. Not enough room in turn number four. It got very close down there. Donnie Schatz closing in on Jacob Allen, racing for the eighth spot. A move to the inside out of turn number two. Unsuccessful. Oh, car upside down. Hard flip over turns three and four out of the ballpark. End over end. Brent Marks in the number 19. He has reported to the safety officials that he is okay. Take a look at the replay on the big screen. The car gets over the cushion and it just digs in and takes off and he goes end over end over end through the billboard and nearly up against the fence, actually resting against the fence on the outside of the Speedway property. And race fans, the situation is this. It is now raining too hard to restart this race. The cars will be taken back to the trailer. We are under a rain delay at this point. We will be under a rain delay. Well, race fans, here is the situation at the Williams Grove Speedway. The track is too wet to continue racing. It is going to continue to rain. This race is official. Lance DeWeese has won the opening night of the Champion Oil National Open at Williams Grove Speedway. We're only about maybe 15 or 20 steps away from victory lane, and Lance DeWeese is down here, got the check. $10,000 and a 10-lap feature. That means you just, every lap in that feature, Lance, you just got 1000 Um That's pretty impressive. Yeah, we get paid by the hour, so we'd like to make more in an hour that way. So, no, yeah, they, yeah, my hat's off Mike Hess. He's one of the best race directors I've ever been involved with, of any organization. He tried his damnedest to get this show in, you know, eliminating the four brass, eliminating double foul starts, and they, they tried everything to get in, you know, and, you know, Mother Nature just didn't want it finish, and, you know, I really didn't know they had a rule that, you know, they could call it at 10 and it counted, so I never wanted to. A 10 lap feature before. You know, I've been doing this a long time, so um, that's nice for my old old age. No, I really didn't know it was raining there um, when they threw the first caution, but I was getting to lap cars, so I kind of was paying attention there. And um, when the caution came out, it was it was getting pretty greasy, and I was giving them the thumbs down in one and two, and um, three and four was getting pretty greasy, and then they s said blow it off, and man, it, it blew right off, and I thought it was fine to go back racing, and we did, and. Um, and yeah, we were probably going to be all right. It wasn't for the red. We at least got to halfway and probably maybe made it to the end. So um, once they stopped us on the red, it was still raining. It it's hard to get the track to come back that quick and with no cars running around on it. Yeah, this race car is a really good race car right now. We um, 
I think we've won three three in a row, not three in a row, three races with this race car out four our last four here. So um, it's it's a really good race car, and um, I can't be happier with it. And um, you know, hopefully, you know, it don't look good the rest of the weekend. So hopefully, they'll come up with a good rain date if we don't get race tomorrow, and we'll be able to run it. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.